Our top story here at 430, the Oklahoma County Detention Center has some upgrades thanks to the CARES Act. Staff says the changes have eliminated several issues plaguing the jail. News 9's Brittany Tulis gives us a first look at some of those changes. Standing water in the showers, basement, and maintenance rooms, mold growing throughout the building, and inmates picking cell locks are all problem areas the jail has addressed, dipping into CARES Act funding to do it. Almost a year and a half ago, we cleaned up water every shift, every day. We spent three or four hours a day cleaning up water. The jail trust has already spent $10.3 million of CARES Act to fix a plethora of problems staff and inmates have been dealing with for years. One of those issues, standing water. They were putting stuff in the sewage system, plugging it up and then flooding the whole building. But now the new system allows one flush every five minutes, stopping the second mid-flush while not cutting off water to sinks or showers. Yellow number four means that he tried to flush it four times after it was locked out. And sometimes I've seen him up to 150 or so flushes trying to get it to flush, mm -hmm. especially if they think somebody's going to shake the cell down. The system also makes other equipment last longer, saving money in other places. In January of this year, the water bill was $53,000. The water bill that we got in July was $8,300. HVAC upgrades and an ionization system has fresh air circulating inside the building, something not possible before. What you need to, because if not, you're recycling the same old virus and bacteria and everything. And Cells are also in the process of getting new locks and hinges. They aren't able to get through them to get out. The old locks, they can stuff paper in, uh, sheets to pull the locks back they could get out when they wanted to. Several other issues like access to hot water have also been addressed. But Fry says there's more work to be done. That includes a new roof, new elevators and finalizing HVAC upgrades. At the Oklahoma County Detention Center, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.